So I haven't flown my drone in almost a year. Let's find out why that is. Drones have become a popular hobby for many and not without reason. Most content creators nowadays use drones as a tool to help convey their stories and establish scenes which were otherwise not possible. So there are a lot more drones in the air. And there's also people doing stupid shit with their drones, like flying way too close to civilian airplanes and airfields. And who remembers the drone incident at Gatwick Airport? Major airport shutdown. All flights halted tonight after a drone scare. After two drones were seen flying near the runway. So even if there was no real drone, it seriously affected public opinion about drones. In 2018, the European Parliament agreed on an EU-wide regulatory framework for drones, for which the European Aviation Safety Agency developed a proposal for an operational, proportional risk and performance-based regulatory framework for all unmanned aerial vehicles. We're gonna get, for the first time, EU-wide regulatory framework for drones. As a result, the use of drones has been regulated since the beginning of 2021 which means that you are not allowed to fly with a drone of 250 grams and more without a drone license. So without breaking the law, my Mavic 2 Pro is now a 1500 euro, dollar, whatever paperweight. I have never been reckless with my drone and personally, I don't really feel like I need a license after flying with the Mavic Air and Mavic 2 for years now. I did once or twice, maybe fly a little bit further or higher than allowed, but who hasn't? One thing is for sure, I have always flown with compliance for the aviation regulations by staying clear of aircrafts and airfields. In order to fly my drone legally now, I still need to get my remote drone pilot certification. And maybe I'll even learn something new. So let's do it! I finished the exam, I now have my A1 A3 drone pilot certificate. The test contained 40 questions of which I got 90% correct, so that, yeah, pretty good. I spent like 3 hours reading through the material and completed the test afterwards. The questions were about the aviation regulation, the human factors, self-assessment, the technical aspect of drones and operational procedures. I chose for Dutch Drone Academy because they are one of the cheapest at 60 euros and I've seen good recommendations. Aside from the course itself, the official certificate costs another 10 euros. After that I can finally register my drone, which is 23 euros per year and then I can finally fly my drone legally. So that's pretty expensive altogether. I just received my drone pilot certification. Let's see how it looks. I can now fly my drone legally. There is only one problem, which is the rain. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> 